Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So today I really wanted to dedicate this video to giving you guys some tips on how to find your first job. I know for me it was really difficult. It took me like three months just constantly applying before I even got a call back. So yeah, hopefully these tips are helpful for you all. The first thing you're going to need is basically you're going to have to make a CV. Um, there are certain jobs which don't require a CV. Um, but for the most part, they will ask for it. So honestly, just keep it very simple. Um, I will insert uh, like a photo of a CV that I made for my brother, um, which he used to get his first job. But yeah, keep it really simple. Um, they'll know, like they know that you don't have experience, so they're not going to expect a ton of, you know, stuff. Um, but yeah, keep it very simple. Focus on your skills. Um, definitely put your education first. So if you're in school or uni. Chuck that on there, um, any co-curriculars that you have. And yeah, I would chuck on a personal statement as well. So just write a bit of paragraph about a bit about yourself just to kind of fill it out because you know you're not gonna have a lot of things to fill out the page. Um, and yeah, I would highlight three main skills, say anything like communication, um, teamwork, you know, ability to work under pressure, things like that. Um, those are skills that most employees are looking for. And make sure you include an example of a situation where you showcase that skill. So for example, if it's teamwork, talk about if you were playing in a sports team, talk about if you were, uh, I don't know, in a band, anything that kind of relates, um, that's completely fine. If you were volunteering, perfect, all good, sweet. And then for references, you can just put references on a quest uh, or you can just leave it out, um, yeah. Uh, and then also cover letter, um, most places will also ask for a cover letter or it will be optional but it's definitely better to make one. Go online, find some examples um, and you don't have to you know, make a new cover letter for every job, you can pretty much just kind of change a little bit, you know, add in one sentence to make it specific and yeah obviously change the company that you're applying for in the cover letter. So if you don't have any experience a great place to start is casual roles. So for example during Christmas there's a lot of retail roles, a lot of you know hospitality during the holidays. Um, so those are great uh, places to start. Another important thing is to be quite flexible with your hours. So I know when you're in school it's hard because you don't have a lot of time during the week so you pretty much will have to uh, sacrifice your weekends, you know, maybe your Friday nights as well. Yeah, just be open to working, you know, various hours, whether it be late nights, weekends, like, you know, beggars really can't be choosers. <laughs> Um, and another thing that I didn't really do, but I think it works really well, is hand out your CV to local shops, you know, shopping malls, restaurants, cafes, whatever it may be. Um, this is a really surefire way to get your foot in the door because a lot of places they won't really advertise online. Overall, it just speeds up the whole process because if you apply online, it may be months before you even get a call back from that particular company and then another week before you interview and then another two weeks before you get rejected. So by, you know, handing out your CV, it's really easy. I mean, honestly, the worst thing they can do is say no and I feel like it really builds your confidence and after a while you just, you kind of get used to it so it's not even scary anymore. It's like if you, if you walk in and they say, oh sorry, we're not hiring anyone, it's just like, okay, sweet, on to the next. Um, and then the main way to get a job is probably just to apply online. Um, I know in New Zealand, popular websites are like Seek, Indeed, things like that. This is a good technique, but personally it hasn't been super successful for me. Like, the the easiest or the the quickest way I find um, to get jobs is go onto the website directly, so you have a better chance because if you think about a job search website, like, for one job ad, there'll be hundreds of people applying, so it, you're gonna have like a pretty low chance, but if you go into a specific, you know, website, of a company or you know a restaurant that you're looking for you're going to have a better chance because not as many people are going to take the time to do that and so yeah you're going to have less competition um another important tip is just to don't stop applying like don't give up it really is a numbers game um especially when you're just starting out or like that people don't have a reason to choose you over you know someone who's got experience so you really have to be open to um a lot of roles and just keep applying and yeah, don't don't give up. Even if you have an interview, um, that doesn't mean you're gonna get hired. So, don't wait to like be rejected by one company before you apply to another company. Just keep on applying um, to as many places as you can. And also, it's really important to make sure that you're checking your email and you're answering all the calls that you have because that's pretty much the main way that you're gonna be contacted. So, 
yeah, make sure that you're answering calls. Um, if if you receive any voicemails, you know, obviously call them back. I guess a couple tips for the interview stage. Um, it can be very daunting, especially if you've never done an interview. But the best advice that I can give is just to make sure that you go in prepared. Research the company. Um, they will pretty much surefire ask you like what do you know about the company why do you want to work here tell me about yourself like those are things that i've been asked at like every one of my interviews um and then you yeah, also just look up you know customer service questions if it's a retail job look up retail questions and yeah make sure that you've got a lot of answers yeah. and another thing is that everything is experience so obviously if you've never had a job um however you know if you've played in a sports team if you've done volunteering if you've helped out your mom or your dad or whatever like you can refer back to on those you know situations and then yeah just obviously you know don't be late to an interview but don't be too early either like for example if you're going to a busy hospitality place and you agree to meet at 2 p.m and you turn up at 1 30 like they're not going to be ready for you like you know there's going to be a rush of customers and they don't really want to see you so don't be too early um just i would say about five to ten minutes early is a good time try to dress well um for me a lot of my roles like i wore my school uniform and that was fine um but yeah just make sure that you're you know tidy presentable um and then the last stage that you're gonna be is basically job offer stage so you're gonna be asked for references and this is another thing that i was pretty worried about like i didn't know you know who was gonna be my reference like i i ne i was super quiet in school so i didn't really talk to any of my teachers but I would just recommend, yeah, like if you have a good relationship with any of your teachers or professors, definitely go to them first. And then if you play any sports, like I remember I got my soccer or football coach to be one of my references and just family, friends and things like that. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys have found it helpful and I will see you guys in my next one.